just got a massive $70 order and I like almost can't even believe it. And I think together out loud, we should say, I expect good things to happen to me. I hope you are watching this and you're saying it with me. You wanna say it with me too? What? I expect good things to happen to me. Are you ready? Put your hands together for the witchy power. I expect good things to happen to me. The reason why I wanted to say that out loud is because sometimes when really amazing things happen, it's almost like we can like start to run away from them because there's a part of us that doesn't feel like we're worthy enough to have it. But the reality is we are worthy. We are worthy of good things happening to us. Woke up today i have a fairly large order to package um i got a couple of content things to get out um i have to finish laundry there's a couple other things that i have to do today take you guys along <music> okay, we were walking through the neighborhood we passed by someone's like front steps and there was a pair of keys on there almost as if like someone either like placed it there or dropped it i just put the keys in the mailbox and we're gonna hope that the people find it slash think to look there in other news i found a free cup <laughs> After eating a wonderful veggie sandwich and now I am going to get ready to package um, an order and ship it out today the package is now ready to be shipped and I'm gonna head out here and walk over to get this delivered I usually walk over to um, drop this off because it's summer and I just really want any like time outside that I can I am back home and it is ridiculously hot. It is so hot, I am so sweaty. I am <laughs> very happy to be back home. Whee! Who else did that as a kid? So yeah, now I have to upload a video and make a thumbnail for it. If you want to go ahead and hear those healing vibrations from the Sanskrit word Om in a vocal meditation chant with me, check out the link up top and make sure you guys subscribe for more yoga, meditation, healthy living. see the moon look that's the moon man it is 6 30 
a.m. I don't know how or why I woke up so early today, but I did. So, and the kitty joined me. Hi! You can see his tail flicking. Hello. The day I have to edit tomorrow's video. Today's good weather. I might try to take photos of um, the crystals I have up for sale. <music> So, for those of you who don't know, Onyx, this cutie, really loves to play fetch. Let me show you how. Alright, so I'm going to take this hair tie. And then... <laughs> Good job, buddy. Well, this is how we live now. 3,008 and y'all so 2,000 late. I do like to post my smoothie recipes on TikTok, so make sure you are following me there. I'll be taking some papaya, some mango, hemp seeds, organic juice mix. I know it says naked, but it is not naked. This is a homemade orange, celery, and cucumber juice mix. I'm gonna take the Sambucus Black Elderberry Extract, and I'll be taking some Flow Alkaline Water. of like a munchies type of idea and it's kind of like a riff off of like a mediterranean sandwich with zatsky sauce cut up dates lots of cut up onion i'm gonna saute some plant-based ground beef with mushrooms and some garlic and i also have some vegan mozzarella So I've been working for the past hour or so without a break and I do like to try to give myself a break every half hour to hour just so that I can maintain my energy so that I'm not going full force for hours without a break and then feeling very very burnt out at the end of the day. I like to try to stagger my work time and allow myself to relax, to breathe, to be human and to just be. So I got my food and I'm gonna watch something. The idea of discovery is just being able to look at the same thing that someone else might be looking at and see that differently. This food is so delicious. And on the salad, I tried a new dressing. It was amazing, it's blueberry pomegranate. So now I am going to edit. So it's the night time. Uh, we had dinner, and now we're about to play Persona 5. <laughs> Grand Rising, everybody. I think is almost done. I had really high lofty goals for myself this week and I would say I've done like 75 to 80% of them. So I got most of the things I set out for myself done. However, there were things that just had to get put on the wayside, such as life. I have a candle vlog coming out today 
and it is footage from last year so currently right now in real time it's the end of august in 2021 and this footage is actually from the end of august in 2020. it was really interesting to see not only like how i've changed but how my hair has changed how the situation has changed um from being in the pandemic in um august of last year to this year my hope is that by the end of this year that i I really, really want to be somewhere else. Now, I don't know how the fuck that's gonna happen. And it is definitely a reason why I like to grind so hard. I set very, very high goals. I have very high expectations of myself. And sometimes those expectations don't match up with reality because I'll have these high goals and then I won't remember like, well, you have to eat, you have to sleep, you have to rest. You have to nourish yourself. And so it is really a balance of that. So I really do want to be in a different place, whether that's me, you know, saving enough money to live in another country for a month or two, or if I get my van and start building my van for van life. I have big goals and I have no doubt that I will achieve them, but sometimes I do need to detach from the timeline. Detachment from the goal, from the outcome, is incredibly necessary. It's that balance needed of the self and the community. So for food today, we're going to be making a brown rice and quinoa stir fry with edamame, onions, whatever veggies we can find. I am back home once more and I am trying to upload the YouTube video that's supposed to be scheduled for today. My plan is while the video is uploading, I'm gonna go ahead and clean up my room and start laundry because my room is a mess my <laughs> shop materials back there are a mess. There's a lot of laundry to do. And I kind of just need time to um, kind of get situated. I always feel that I am much, I feel much more light and more clear headed when my space is that way. And um, yeah, I've been kind of putting it off for a little bit. I do know I need way more storage for <laughs> my business and it's just like inevitable man like I'll get a new storage solution like I got that a while ago and I did this whole video of me cleaning my um like reorganizing my supplies and it took me like three days to get everything looking right and then more stuff came in time went on and then it just got all super like it all just got so cluttered so quickly so quickly and so yeah it's definitely time to clean up a little bit so I'm gonna cross my fingers that youtube works now and i can move on with my day <laughs> So it's about 3.30 in the afternoon now and I've gotten a lot of stuff done so far so I am ready for a break and I'm ready to eat. I've got yellow rice with squash and beans. I've got this awesome butternut squash soup and I added some salt and pepper. And I also have a side salad and these cute little tomatoes are actually from my parents' garden which makes it super special to be able to eat this. We just went on a 45 minute bike ride. It was so good. It's been a really long time since I've like biked like that. I haven't done that since I was like in college. It was really fun to do. Grand rising lovers and dreamers. I slept at home. Sometimes I don't always want to take time to myself, but I do make it a point to spend time by myself 
even if it's just a couple hours every day when um, my boyfriend's at work and I work by myself or, um, you know, sleeping by myself so that I can continue to feel my own energy. And I do appreciate all the time we spend together, but I do like to practice non-attachment by taking time away from him. The good thing was I didn't get overheated. There weren't cats running around. And all of these pillows to myself. All of them. And there's Axel here too. Axel the Axolotl. It's like 7 a.m. right now. And um, tonight we are going to be hanging out with our friends. So I really want to try to get a good amount of work done today. And I also have a sun salutations class tomorrow. I think it's going to be a good day today. Today. So every single day I try to follow a routine. I am someone who really does benefit from a routine but also flexibility to dive away from that routine if necessary. So part of my routine is to do yoga, meditation, tarot, and journaling every single day. These are activities that really make me feel grounded and happy. So today I did an oracle reading from the uh, Divine Goddess deck or something. The car I got from that oracle deck was to do three things that normally I wouldn't do. <clears throat> so the first thing I thought of was I should hug my dad. My dad and I are not people who have had um, a history the past decade of being physically affectionate or emotionally. So as a result, as a kid, I really felt that was missing. Now, of course, I didn't ask my parents, but they didn't give it to me either. So I thought that it would be good today to hug my dad. Now, I haven't hugged my dad yet because as that thought developed, I thought about, well, what if I hug as many people as I can today? Research says that humans need like eight to 10 hugs a day and most people get less than like two. The first person I saw was my grandpa and I just asked him, I was like, hey, do you want a hug? And he was like, yes. I was like, wow. So I was like, okay. So I gave him a hug and it was like really strange, but really good at the same time. And he really enjoyed it. And he was just like, he kept repeating like, amen. And I was like, I think he really enjoyed it. But like, I walked away and I was just like, that was so many emotions. Like, I think we just healed like three ancestral lineages right there. <laughs> My dad is actually sleeping. So we're gonna let him continue to sleep. Other than that, we will continue with our quest to hug as many people as we can today. I am now on my way to walk to my boyfriend's house. So on my walk, I found these really cool mirrors, but they're so cute. I'm really glad I got them. Thank you to whoever was smiling out at me. Well, I made it alive. I am here and it only took me about um, like 35, 38 minutes or so. Oh, that air is just like giving me life. I think he's, ta he's taking me somewhere. I don't know where. I think what I appreciate most about this relationship is it's one of the first relationships where I can put in a lot of work and effort and it will be ultimately returned back to me even greater. I had been in so many relationships where I had given so much and they would give me the bare minimum in return. And so earlier today when I thought about walking to my boyfriend's house, I was like, oh, should I? Like, is that doing too much? But, um... No, it's not a bad thing to give your all in a relationship and to love someone fully, but just make sure that it is reciprocated. So it's about 4.30 now and I've gotten um, quite a decent amount of headway on shop stuff. I took photos today of the crystals I have and did start to um, put them up on the website. Just took a shower. I'm about to do a face mask <laughs> and um, I'm gonna get ready for tonight.
Grand Rising, everybody. We are preparing to go yard sale hunting. Yard sale hunting is something I have loved to do since I was a kid. And when I lived in Pittsburgh, I couldn't really go to yard sales. There wasn't really much yard sales in the city. I'm really excited for the opportunity to see what the hell is out there. Hopefully we get some good deals. All right, let's see how it goes. Hola, my peoples. We are back from the yard sale and I got so much good stuff. First off, we got a fryer for $3. I got a beautiful like pashmina type of scarf. Let me know if you guys want a headscarf tutorial. I love wearing headscarves and it's just a wonderful way to um, protect your hair, protect your crown chakra, all that good stuff. We also got this beautiful Renoir uh, reusable bag and I'm hoping to use that not only for just like carrying stuff but for our food trips, our grocery trips. I love getting reusable bags and some of our reusable bags are ass. So I'm really happy that we got this really pretty one. I also got a onesie that I am super excited to do yoga in. I've been wanting a onesie like this for a long, long time. Um, and normally when I see them, they're like $60 or more. So I got this one for a dollar. Didn't even try it on, but just really, really hoped that it would fit me. And it kind of looked like it was a little bit long, but once I tried it on, it was the perfect size for me. 